Now, of course, this CPU, GPU co-processing architecture that we started to promote about four to five years ago needed to go through several very important investments. First, we had to create the technology. We had to invent the technology. The technology actually had to deliver significant speed up. This is doing DirectX compute. So this is running in DirectX, uh, DirectX compute, DX compute. We are doing all the calculations, all the surface calculations, the physics necessary to calculate how the surface waves are being, uh, uh, are being generated. We're using fast Fourier transforms to, to create all the various different surfaces of the ocean to give you this effect of what the ocean should look like when interacted with in real time. And as you can see, the ocean is moving. You can move the, uh, the view around uh, a little bit as well. It's really quite dramatic, the kind of imagery that you create now with DirectX and in but creating smoke effects. So we've been working with Microsoft to build in the ability to use our new physics API, our physics application that game developers can use to get a really cool overall effect inside your, um, uh, inside your, your, uh, your game. And so here is now particle simulation where we're doing all the aerodynamic and, 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 and uh, actually hydrodynamic calculations necessary to give you the effects of what close to, this is a uh, 2000 almost 2,000 or, or uh, 260,000 particles all being calculated in real time on the GPU and then being interacted with and, and moved around with as that car, a little NVIDIA race car, moves around. That's pretty cool, okay? These are some of the new effects that we are making ready for gamers to be able to use in Again here, the clock that you're seeing, the explosion and the other objects interacting as a result of that explosion. Oftentimes people try to animate this stuff, but it's not really nearly as, as true to life as if we can figure out how to calculate the physics. Look at how, it's, how it moves along and dust kicks up and the, and the, and the mist kind of gets pushed away. All that interaction is being done in physics. And then same thing with this last scene. The clock that you see up on the walls, the wires hanging down, the, the object coming through the mist. It's the first time ever in the game that you've seen an object interacting with mist. 